Tom here from Tackle World Mackay, and today I'm going to talk about getting jiggy with it. I'm going to tell you guys exactly how to set your rods and reels up to go jigging on most of our inshore islands or semi-deep water, chasing coral trout, sweet lip, or even the odd trevally. So firstly, we're going to get you started on your rods and reels. Typically speaking, your slow pitch rods will be around a 6 foot 3 mark, and they'll have a parabolic bend to them. If you're confused with this term, approach your local tackle shop to help you out. One of the most common poundages we're using around at the moment is this 30 pound outfit or what people call a PE3 setup. You can either run these on a spin reel or an overhead setup. Personally, I enjoy the overhead setup because you have constant contact with your line so if you do get a hit on the way down, you're able to pull it up quickly. Once you've picked your rod or reel outfit, whether it be spin or overhead, we then move on to your main lines. We do run braid when we're jigging because this gives you a much better feeling with your jig and you allow us to keep in contact with it. A lot of people are using multicoloured braid these days to be able to know how far down your jig is and how far you're working your jig up. Here's two in a 30 pound outfit which are two of our most popular sellers. When you're using leader material we tend to stick to a monofilament with a tough coating on there in around that 60 pound mark. This will give you a little bit of a bungee effect to help your jigs work through the water column. Once we've got your main line and leader set up, we're then going to go on to choosing a few jigs. Now these are all slow pitch style of jigs and traditionally they're about a, a 6 inch in length and they'll have their weights printed on them. This is a very common style of a slow pitch jig, but I have a large array of them down here. Now they all have different colours and mainly they will have different styles printed on them. As this buffalo shows, this will fall in a straight line and flutter, opposed to this gypsy one which will waft and flutter. So depending on the style of fish you're chasing and how aggressive they are, this goes to what style of jig you are going to choose. Once we've got the style of slow pitch jig you want to pick, we then move on to weights. The weights are roughly based off how deep of water you want to be fishing. So if I want to be fishing 40 metres of water, I will roughly double it and pick an 80 gram jig. If there's less current, I'll go less weight, and if there's more current, I'll go more weight. With the colouring of the jigs, we roughly pick what our target fish is feeding on. So if we were fishing for trout, we would use a pilchard looking colour. Once you've chosen your rod and reel, your main line, your leader, and the style of jig you want to use, it then comes to tying them on. So, when we are tying them on, you can use whatever knot you want, whether it be uni knot or blood knot, but a good tip is, you can tie onto this solid ring here, so then you can use a pair of split ring pliers to change jigs more quickly. So once we've found the solid ring, you can use whatever knot you like, whether it be a blood knot or uni knot. Today we're going to be using a uni knot. So we poke through the solid ring, we make a loop, and we pinch it like so. We then grab our tag and roll it around the main line and through the loop about four times will be perfect. You pull the tag to tighten up the loops and then we pull our main line to slide it down onto the solid ring. That's our knot there done and then all we do is give our tag end a trim and we're sorted. Once we've got your jig tied on and ready to go and you've dropped it down to your desired depth, the easiest way to work your jig is a big lift up in the air Keep in contact with your line as you wind back down. And then lift up and wind back down. A lot of the times you will get your hit on the drop when your jig is fluttering. Now we've got you all rigged up, getting jiggy with it on the water. Just keep me in your mind when you nail that big PB trout and bring me in some fillets.